Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Pre-shuffling the light seer's deck. And I kept seeing the Empress. I kept seeing the Empress. And I kept seeing like all this great energy around the Empress. And then I saw this Seven of Swords energy around the Empress. And then I saw this Page of Wands energy and this Two of Pentacles energy. And there's energy around you of number one, spirit asking you to trust in the divine and what's happening right now and for you to have patience about whatever it is that is going on in your life this is a love reading so keep that in mind so we're talking about love but i mean this could apply to anything right but spirit is saying just trust what's happening okay trust that we have your back lean not into your own understanding understand and trust have patience that we are here to support you during this time frame right now with the support energy also to accept the situation for what it is and why it didn't work out or accept and trust that you are where you are supposed to be right now along your journey with this trust energy i mean that was the first card out and so this is the strongest energy okay so spirit is, is reminding you that it's you're in a good position right now. You're safe. You're protected. Okay. Trust your intuition. I feel like spirit is telling you here, whatever you see about a situation with that seven of swords, me seeing the seven of swords, don't dismiss the red flags. What you're seeing is true. Okay. What you believe to like you may, this is giving me the energy of like, there's something here that you may not have proof about something that might seem real, like nefarious or very like unbelievable, but you know it, or you may not have proof about something. Don't miss, miss the, dismiss the red flags here. I feel like here with this acceptance energy spirit is saying, just trust that everything happened for a reason. Lean not into your own understanding is what I can, I'm continually hearing here. Then we had this energy of interference, which fell on top of acceptance. And that's telling me like you might have been dealing with, it looks like you were dealing with something that, that a, a connection where there was some third party, some gossip or some sort of seven of swords, untrustworthy energy. And you knew the truth and you know the truth, right? Regardless. And it didn't work out for a reason. There's somebody in your energy here who wants a second chance with you, but this person is not going to get a second chance with second chance here in reverse. This relationship deserves a second chance. And again, that came out in reverse. So this person definitely could have had you in a third party situation. And you're like, dang, why didn't that work out? Why didn't this person choose me? Or why didn't this person come towards me? Or whatever that is, right? Because everybody's situation is going to be different. You're the empress. Remember that. You you are that chick. You are that male. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I feel like there was a connection in the past with that two of pentacles energy coming out that was just imbalanced. It was too much unequal give and take. Look, you might even have somebody here that wants to come towards you and tell you that they apologize. They're sorry. They want another chance. Please you know, give you all these lies, uh, I don't know, deception, whatever it is, they're not being honest with you. And you're not going to give this person another chance or that's how this they feel. They feel like, yeah, look at this. High priestess in the tower. You know, you know, even if you don't have proof, you know, spirit is it's telling you, trust the warning signs. Don't dismiss them damn red flags. Okay. Okay. Lean on not your own understanding and this card literally says lean on your inner circle during this time the first card out in the tarot deck is the wheel the number 10 whatever this is it's over it's done and it was meant to be that way there is no second chance with whoever this is that puts you in a third party situation regardless of the situation you're alchemizing something here the situation you are alchem you transmuted this energy i feel like you transmuted this energy into something greater for yourself something better okay the wheel is good fortune it's good karma it's good luck it's change it's like i'm no longer doing the same shit over and over and over yeah you are protected trust that this situation happened for a reason seven of wands trust that you're safe trust that and accept everything happened for a reason you were blocked the spirit blocked you from this or spirit is blocking you from what whoever this person is that wants to come in and give you a and like apologize to you or give you some bullshit or whatever you know what i'm saying show me more here for the collective mm -hmm. the four of wands the four of wands 
with the temperance card, Sagittarius, listen, trust that you're protected. Trust that lean not into your own understanding, divine feminine, whether you are male or female. You have spiritual support and protection around you and surrounding you at this time. You're fine. You know, this is great. Look at this. Queen of Pentacles energy on the bottom of the day. Let's let's see more. Mm-hmm. Look at this. A new beginning, the fool. Aries energy is out here. Sagittarius energy is out here. I love this for you. And there goes that damn Capricorn energy. The devil. Look at this. Eight of Wands. Ten of Swords. We're going to see what this is about. Like I said, if whatever for whatever reason there was an imbalance in this situation, it don't matter anymore. You know, just don't dismiss the red flags. Don't dismiss the devil energy. What else does... Yeah, look at this. Somebody's in some Nine of Swords energy here. Show me more here. Somebody's upset with you that a cycle is over. The moon, they could be a Cancer. Hmm. Show me more. Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Show me more here. And the Four of Cups. I told you somebody's afraid they're going to be rejected by you. I feel like somebody's disappointed that something is not working. It didn't work or you don't believe what this person has to say or whatever it is. But somebody wants to communicate with you. Page of uh, Wands. Or you're going to hear some information. I just saw the Emperor peeking his head out. But let me clarify some more and find out what this is about. So can you show me here what this Nine of Swords is about? Why is this person in anxiety? and fear okay there's no reason for you to fear if you're fearing but i feel like this is somebody else in this energy because i feel like you're moving on you are divinely guided and protected you're accepting something that's happened for a reason why is this nine of swords and this moon energy here four of pentacles somebody's still holding on to you why is this nine of swords and the moon energy here Mm -hmm. Oh, Ace of Pentacles in judgment. If you're stressed about anything collective, I would tell you not to stress here. It's like you don't see what's coming. You don't see how you're going to be moving on to calmer waters. You may not see this good karma. You may not see this balance coming in for you. This good karma, like I said, Libra energy here with the Justice card. You don't see it and you don't believe it. Also, too, Three of Pentacles is that support. Lean on your inner circle at this time or Spirit is reminding you, we are supporting you. We're here for you. We're guiding you. We're protecting you with this Six of Swords energy, even if you don't see it. Um, this is good, but there's an energy here. Somebody still holding on to you that wants to reconcile, and I feel like it's over. It's a done. It's a wrap. It's a wrap because I feel like somebody's here. Let me get more information about this. Show me what this Four of Cups is about. I told you. Somebody wants to talk to you and tell you they're sorry. Okay. Page of Wands. Um, page of Cups. And also, too, I'm going to tell you this, Divine Feminine. If you've been feeling like disappointed, sad, that something isn't working out or whatever the case, right, in this past connection... Um, there's something new and more exciting and like for you to be focused on, don't focus on the past, focus on the present, let go of the past because four of pentacles is here. So don't be focusing too much on the past, focus on this new beginning because I feel like you have with this ace of pentacles being here with the four of, um, pentacles and the judgment card and then page of wands and the, and the page of cups is like, man, you're about to get some real good news. Okay, whether it's regarding your career or a new stable beginning, the four of wands is out here. So you might be moving into a new home, whatever this new thing is. Whether it's, a lot of y'all, this is a new relationship and it's going to be fun. It's going to be new. You're going to have to follow your heart and trust. Okay, trust that you can move forward with this person or just give a little bit or trust that this person supports you in some sort of way. But at the bottom of the deck is the um, star energy, which is Aquarius energy. It's energy of like hope, faith, um, wishing and praying for something. And spirit hears you. Spirit hears you. Okay, spirit definitely hears you. 
So what else do we have for my Divine Feminines? The Five of Wands. Here we go. What's this Five of Wands about? Yeah, that's this damn person from the past. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody stuck in their head a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. They didn't want to communicate with. This is somebody here who stabs you in the back, betrayed you, did some old awful whatever, whatever they did. It wasn't good. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, spirit is telling you, do not dismiss the, the red flags here. When this person comes back in and they want to give you a love offer and love bomb you and apologize to you. What, what, what's this five of wands here for this king of swords? This person is stuck in their head thinking about you. They, you know what? Look at this ten of wands and the ace of wands. You know what I'm saying, you guys? This person, I feel like, is just going through it, is what I'm getting. Mm -mm. Show me this King of Swords and this Five of Wands and this Ace of Wands. They want a new beginning with you, but <sighs> there goes that chariot. The, look, they see you as the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress. Somebody that they're extremely attracted to that they want a new passionate beginning with. But the thing is, it's like, I feel like they only want to rush in towards you because of who you are. They didn't do right by you the first time. They're thinking about you heavily, but they made the wrong choice. For some of y'all, this could have been a soulmate. Very strong. You're very disappointed in this person. Some of y'all could be wait. I feel like y'all waited on this person for too long. It didn't happen. It, it didn't work out. And you're healing right now. You're doing better because you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, let's see more about this energy though. Show me more about this King of Swords. This masculine energy. What's this five of wands about? What's this conflict? What's this conflict that this king of swords is going through? Somebody's having conflict with a family or with their fi finances right now. What's this conflict for this king of swords? Okay, they want to try again and start over. We have foundation and beginnings, king of swords. All right. Show me more about this King of Swords energy. Yeah, the, the, you, I'm telling you, do not dismiss the damn red flags. Bluff, pretending, exaggeration. You and this person, there are there's some distance. This person wants to like close the gap in between the emotional and for some of y'all physical distance that you know you're not talking to this person there's a separation you blocked them we did see that seven of wands come out right you're protecting yourself spirit is protecting you from this person okay protecting you from having a new beginning with somebody who's a, a liar okay then we have divine feminine that came out with distance energy this person is a liar that that's that seven of swords energy they're still not going to be honest when they come in towards you. Tell me more about this King of Swords energy, please. Yep, this person is bitter and they're angry at you. They're in this Eight of Swords energy trapped in this Five of Wands energy in this inner conflict, drama. This person feels stuck on you. They feel stuck in the current situation that they're in. You know what I'm saying? They weren't giving to you because they were giving to something else or they weren't giving you what you deserve and they're bitter and angry and upset at you because you moved on with your life or you are moving on with your life. They, they feel like you said it's over. I'm, le I'm leaving you behind. You left this person behind. You said, I'm done. It's over. I don't need closure. I'm, I'm done. I'm tired of the conflict. I'm tired of the five of wands energy. I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of the deception. I'm tired of the dishonesty. We don't, we don't work well together. It's like oil and water. Okay? Too many differences. So just trust your inner knowing or your inner being here. Trust that you are of the person of value here. Know your value. Know your worth. You're realizing that. You know that. All right. So why does this person want to come back at this point? Why does this... Okay. Family. Okay. Why does this person want to come back? So for some of you guys, this person may have children 
Um, they, you could have had a child with this person. Um, someone here could be pregnant. That's not for everybody. Or someone here is confused over a family situation or they can't make a decision. That's why they run this two of pentacles energy because they're uncertain because they don't know what they're going to do. Okay. Yeah. See somebody here is unsure if they want to release a family situation or release somebody that's pregnant. Okay. And this literally says confusion, releasing, and family, letting go, moving on, walking away. Then this says confusion, uncertain, unclear, fertility, parenthood, pregnancy, and divine masculine, running, ghosting, disappearing, invisible. So either this masculine ran away from you and you had the family with them or they have somebody else. They chose somebody else. Um, you know, and they didn't try to make it work with you, but now all of a sudden some shit is not working out for them or they see you moving on doing good and now they want to come back. So this person definitely had the tendency to run away from things. Um, show me more about, show me more about this confusion energy. Why can't this person make up their mind then? I mean, other than the fact that this, for some of y'all, they have a family or somebody's pregnant. And they don't know how they're going to get themselves out of that situation. So this person's having dreams about you. Mm. Oh, you know what? There's a person here. There's a third party here who realizes that your person is watching you, thinking about you nonstop. And that they love you. Yeah, there's a third party here, energy here, ascension. So this third party feels like your person is like going to leave them or they're afraid of that. Uh, but I feel like they sense you, your person senses you moving away from them, right? Because you already created this distance and you're growing without them. Um, yeah, see, you're moving on without this person. It seems like the farther away you get from this person, the more they want you with this insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more and spiritual path and awakening. It's like you you turned your back to them. You moved away and walked away from this person. And now they just like, oh, my God, I need the collective. I need the collective. Yeah, whoever this person is dealing with, I'm telling you, this family commitment card just came out in reverse okay so for some of y'all whatever situation they got going on it's not working out yeah thoughts and isolating they're all they can do is think about you night and day day and night their life is falling apart or some sort of connection that they're with or whoever it is that this person is with they're all torn out up about you and their whole life is falling apart it's not like it's giving me like everything was looking great they thought what they had was amazing or they whatever the hell they thought this was. It's not working out. It's not growing because seed is here in reverse with falling apart. There is no growth. There is no growth. Yeah. And I feel like you don't miss this person, but they miss you. But this person feels way down at the fact that you're not talking to them anymore. I cannot make this up. Missing you. Okay. Grip. Anchor chains way down. Okay, this person is pissed that you're unfazed. They're, you know, it's so crazy to me. I, you know, so now this person's mad. Somebody here is in your energy, they're jealous, they're envious, and they want to talk about you like because either a you don't want to be dealing with them anymore, you turned your back to them, or this could be a third party upset with you because your person is over here missing you and they want to bad mouth you or gossip about you. Yeah, they're projecting some negative energy onto you. It's exactly, yep, ooh, somebody sending you black magic, divination abuser, and reflection. Somebody could be doing mirror magic here. Or some sort of magic on some pictures or whatever it is that they got going on. This person, whoever's doing this magic is envious of you. Okay. They feel like they're jealous of you being in this queen of pentacles and empress energy here. Bad reputation. They just want to talk bad about you because you don't want anything to do with them. I feel like you're minding your business, working, doing your own thing. But I feel like they could have paid somebody to do this here too. This is crazy as shit. I'm telling you, whoever this is, they feel closed trapped stuck but they feel like you're free and you're good 
This person has done everything they could to get over you, but they can't, okay? Regardless of who they have, how many people they have, rebound, okay? This card says, I just need someone to help me get over the pain of losing you. So not only does this person feel stuck and trapped, like missing you, they're with somebody else, They that's that connection and situation isn't working out, that person don't like you, they're jealous, and your person is also jealous too, damn sure somebody's doing magic on you or talking bad about you or lying about you, and this person is having dreams, seeing signs and synchronicity, so that's telling me like karma, karma, okay, the justice. Just this. I don't un the, listen, and I'm telling the truth. Ace, Ace of Swords. Spirit said this is the truth. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. I'm telling you, this person is so confused and burdened in their own life. They're just feeling so overwhelmed right now. They're confused. They don't know what the hell they want. All they know is all they can do is just watch you, spy on you. You know, uh, oh, look at this shit. Groupie. You see what I'm saying? They see you ascending and moving on, okay? In this Ace of Pentacles energy. They want to bring a love offer in towards you with this Ace of Wands energy and this Venus. But I feel like most of that shit is like low-key sex, physical, okay? Because with this person, it was a roller coaster ride. It was up and down, up and down. Somebody fighting fussing or that's what this person is experiencing in their own life here they could be with a third party here who's emotionally and verbally abusive or physically abusive here somebody going to jail it's a bunch of drama somebody here is with like a queen of wands energy in reverse or a king of wands energy in reverse very jealous energy out here we already saw envy right because the reason i say that is promiscuous energy is here in reverse Sleeps around a hoe, free for all. Sleeps with your man or sleeps with your woman. Somebody here thought you were going to return. You decided that you were not going to be returning here. Um, I've been slow to return, but maybe it's because I know you'll be waiting. This person thought you was going to be waiting on them. The answer is hell to the no. You're not going to be waiting on them. I'm telling you, I can't make it up. Love affair and decision. They wanted you to be in, connected or stuck in a third party while they had their cake and eat it too over here with whoever. I feel like you've moved on. You were smart enough to move on with low IQ, low IQ. Somebody's name could be key, um, but um, low IQ is here in reverse, which tells me somebody was smart, smart enough. Um, sold, moving, physical lo location and change. You moved away from this situation. You're smart enough to move away from this damn situation and, and trust the red flags here. But your person stuck in this eight of swords energy. Yeah, you're not talking to them. This person is stuck because you won't talk to them. You're not thinking about them and they're mad. Look at this energy, forcer. This says, forces things on you, forces their way, and uses force to get what they want. This person wants to use force to get you back because they're real mad. They're real mad. They're clinging on to you and they refuse. They refuse. They feel like you just, ooh, somebody could have went to jail or somebody's going to jail. Be mindful of this energy here. There are some, like, energy here of, like, just... Fighting, drama, may not have nothing to do with you. I don't, I'm just telling you how I see it. Um, so what else was the collective need to know? That you are protected like I damn said. You are safe and divinely guided from this shit. Just period. You're, you trust, okay? Trust. Trust that you're doing the right thing. It's time to decide about this relationship. Take time to get to know each other in reverse. I feel like, I'm sorry, no, um, decision came out in reverse. I feel like you already made your decision. There is no decision to make. You don't have nothing to say to anybody. Okay? I just, that's like, you moved on to trying new things. You, you're in this wheel of fortune energy. You're like, I need to change 
I, I need a change of scenery. I need a change of whatever. I need a change, okay? I need a change. Just that's, that's where I feel like you are. So good for you. Good for you. Let's see, what else does the collective need to know to close this reading out? Just remember you're safe and you're supported and you're surrounded um, by your angels and your ancestors and Archangel Michael. All right, we have the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. Like I said, you made a decision. Maybe you changed your mind. Honey, the decision is made, I feel like. What else does the collective need to know? Boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. I don't feel like you have closure issues. I feel like somebody else has closure issues because you've moved on and they don't want you to move on. Bottom of the deck is not enough. And this person is insecure as hell that you don't move the hell on. They jealous, jealous, lacking confidence or whoever this is. Uh, clearly, there are a couple people over here lacking confidence, but you're you collective or not lacking confidence. I just want you to know because you're in this Phoenix energy rising above. Okay. It's above you now. It's above you now. And the chaser, somebody getting ready to chase you. That's what spirit wants you to know. While this ship has sailed, this boat moving on, the person who feels like uh, they didn't get closure or that you just moved on and it's unfair and they're jealous. They're about to chase you. They're, they are running after this damn ship, honey. Look at that. Look at the, look at look at look at it. Look at the cat drinking the milk out of the bowl. <laughs> Y'all, I love you. Have a blessed evening. Have a blessed morning. Have a blessed day. Hit the like button for me if you need a personal reading. That information is going to be in below in the description box. I don't know what else to tell y'all, but I enjoyed this reading. It was it was cool. You're supported. You're protected. And continue to do what you need to do, which I feel like is walk away and grow and learn and heal and move on. And don't dismiss the red flags and trust your intuition, honey, because it's right. Okay?